Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be checking out the M3. We're going to be trying to fix all kinds of little things that are wrong with this M3 because there's a lot of little things. For starters, I have a CHP appointment tomorrow and I got to get the oil situation checked out. You guys can see there's a bunch of oil on the ground there. We're going over tomorrow to the shop and we're also going over tomorrow to CHP to hopefully get this car verified, hopefully get some plates on this car because we're super, super hyped to get this thing 100% fully legal on the road. Currently, I I have it pretty much as an unregistered vehicle, uh, but it's still drivable. But I just want this thing to be legal already. I just want it to be legal. So the one thing I want to do is remove a label that's on this hood and get it off my other hood. So I have the other hood, I have a label that says 2008. This one says 2011. So this hood's off of 2011. It is the exact same color, but it does have a label of 2013. So I just want to remove that. It just doesn't match the rest of the car. I don't like that. Also, I don't know if you guys can see the tint on this window. Pretty much the glue residue is all over it. And every time I roll down the window, it squeaks so very loud. So I want to get that cleaned up. So let's just go ahead and get those two first because those two both require razor blades. Let's go ahead and just get it done. So anyways, let me show you guys. Yeah. For anyways. For, for anyways, let me set you guys up real quick. Uh, and get you guys on a tripod so you guys can see me trying to remove this ugly glue. Hopefully it's easy. A lot of people say you just need some amino acid or some nail, nail polish removal, which is what I'm going to be using. Uh, and then, or some alcohol, 75, 25, something like that. I don't know. I'm just going to use some nail polish remover because I'm pretty sure it's like one of the best things you can use because it works really well. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Hopefully, we get this thing removed. You guys can see all of that. Like, look how bad this is. It's so bad. Every time I roll on the window, it screeches down because all the glue is just going against this stuff down here, the little rubber seals. So hopefully we can get all this situated. There's a lot all over here. Let's see. All right, guys. After a lot of sweat, tears, and everything, <laughs> finally got this all cleaned up absolute mess now it's smooth feels great i'm gonna go i'm gonna go over this with a little bit more um cleaning a little more nail polish remover just to make sure everything is off of it and then go over it with some water uh but in the meantime i'm just gonna vacuum up all this garbage that i see all over here all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead try to roll down the window because normally you squeak so loud because of all the tint. That goes away for the car. Well, excuse you. All right, roll down the window. Okay, you guys heard it a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, I see, when the door is closed, I don't know if you guys can see that. When the door is closed, there's some leftover residue right there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off while I'm inside the car. I guess the window goes up a little bit when you close the door. Yeah, I remember that now. All right, guys, no more. So there should be no more squeaking on this damn window. Let's hear this, come on now. Okay, not when it's coming up, but all this still is still kinda, it's leaving debris, I think, because of the glue before. Let's try this again. I mean, it is way better than it was. It's leaving a little bit of debris here. I think because of the seals. I think it got messed up because of the glue. Okay, it's nowhere near as bad, but still could use some work down the road. I have to replace these seals now because it got messed up from the glue, but it's fine. I don't know if you guys knew about the hood. Basically, this was the same exact color code. Um, let me show you guys that real quick. So it is, I think this is called black too. Some of you guys translated this to me. So, uh... Yeah, same exact color code. This is all the same exact labeling. It's just on this one, it says 2011. And mine's is not a 2011. Mine is a 20... 2008. Would have been nice if it was a 2011, but it's not. So, I'm gonna go ahead, use some heat, and go ahead and try to use a razor blade to see if this comes off pretty easy. All right, guys, it doesn't look the prettiest uh, kind of messed up on that. But hopefully we get this thing painted. We shouldn't have to worry about that. Your boy messed up. Don't worry about that. But basically, I tried to make it look, it, it's pretty bad. I know you guys are cringing. Bad. Don't even worry about that. I tried to just make it look fluid. Messed up. Just completely messed up. I got all the paperwork ready for the car. I got. I think I, think I need like two more documents I need to print out. Um, 
But other than that, I'm really happy to see. Look how clear this glass is. It's so clear. I kind of want to just do nail polish on all my glasses. I don't know if that's normal, but there's not a single, like I can't see a single, one little single, um, what's it called, water stain on this. I don't know, that looks crazy. I mean, all this has got to go. This is a brand new windshield that's already in water stains on it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all these windows probably later on. Right now, the last light that we have is the windshield washer light. And I really just don't want any more lights. Shout out to Omega Tuning. These air scoops are fire. But anyways, back to the topic. We need to put some windshield washer fluid because the light is super annoying when I'm driving. I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm driving and I hear the BMW sound, you know, I, I'm i just like, you know, I get a heart attack every time I hear that. That's just, that's BMW life. Every time I hear that sound. So just the fact that whenever I, whenever I put my foot on the brake and then the car thinks it's out of fluids, it's gonna throw a light randomly every time I press on the brake, every time I gas, it's just super annoying because you know, the tank level flows and all that stuff. So just go ahead, fill it up. Got some uh, summer windshield fluids and uh, yep. Okie dokie, fluids are up to the top. Looking good. I think we are officially ready. That is the only disappointment. <sighs> We're getting this car painted. We're getting it painted. Would you just look at the butte? Damn. Girl, girl, girl. I'm not gonna lie, every person in their mind, they're like, what if I get like a newer car, an M4, this, this, and that. It's hit me a few times. I'm like, let me get an M4, let me sell this car. But at the same time, because I've driven an M4, it's not the same. It's, this car has no exhaust, and the engine still, like, the engine is my exhaust. It sounds so good, and I cannot wait till I get an exhaust on this car. I'm sure you guys would be super hyped on that. I'll start doing more POV videos. I'll try to get a GoPro mounted to my face where I can't even see, but you guys get a good perspective. And, you know, the downshifts and everything should be pretty sick. So hopefully getting the exhaust pretty soon. All right, guys, so this is the next day. Uh, your boy messed up. He put something on his camera, on his new G7X, and uh, it basically muffled all the audio. So you guys are about to hear that right now. All right, guys, so today is the day. We are heading over to CHP. Hopefully, we can get plates. I just want plates already. I want this car to be 100% legal with no issues. So you guys can clearly hear that this is this is not really listenable. You guys probably want to cut your ears off because it sounds really bad. So basically just gonna be talking over what's going on here. So you guys know I'm finally being able to register this car, so I'm super hyped for it. So I guess we're just gonna head on our way. This is definitely the best copyright music. All right, now this is your boy. Finally got here at the CHP office. Uh, yeah, and uh, pretty much your boy's very nervous here. He's talking, he's sweating. Um, uh, yeah, he's about to go inside. Dan, I'm finally leaving the office. Let's just say the police officer was very, very, very chill. He was the same one that did my 350Z, very chill guy. Um, love this dude, honestly. Checked out my things, checked up all the VIN numbers of everything I've ever had, uh, verified it all, stamped it all, got everything good to go. He even was like, This is probably this is probably one of my favorite specs, you know cars that ever came in he loved the red interior he loved the red with the gray he started complimenting my car and i'm just like a police officer like complimenting my car i mean that's very nice but it's not gonna stay stuck because you know your boy is gonna get an exhaust here. So that's what i'm saying about through all this stuff here uh but i said i respect the police and i'm um, heading out right now to the dmv <laughs> But of course, uh, we got a normal stop here at the Costco gas station. And, uh, you know, three days later, I spent 60 bucks three days ago. Now, the 60 bucks today, screw everybody that said you could daily a V8 because it's definitely not possible. All uh, right, now um, that we got everything situated, we got the paperwork. I'm super happy. Um, <laughs> This is really weird, uh, you know, talking over myself. But uh, basically, now we're heading over to HMB Motorworks. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Um, I had, once I did my rod bearings, there was still an oil leak coming out of the drain screw. They ended up, they did replace the drain screw originally. It was leaking before. They replaced the screw, and it was leaking a lot more. So yeah, finally arrived. As you can see, uh, basically the screw had a hairline crack through the top. We ended up getting that replaced. 
Uh, very chill of him. He just checked it up. He drained my oil. He replaced the screw. He put all that stuff back uh, free of charge. Um, so I do appreciate him for that. I did take time out of his day, but at the same time, I felt like it was only necessary that they were the shop that touched my stuff. Might as well let them touch it again. I don't want to be messing up with anything and then uh, bring it back to them. I was like, they're the ones that did this. This is how it ended up. It's not their fault. It was leaking before, but it was leaking even worse afterwards. So they replaced the screw. It's still today. It's currently still leaking, but it's not a big deal. All right, this is me being super hyped again. Cannot believe what just happened. Cannot believe your boy finally passed. Um, so yeah, I'm talking about this, this, and that, and I'm talking about a future build. So if you guys have any ideas for future builds, please let me know down in the comments. Um, also, something, if you guys want, my dad's finally doing his dream backyard. So shout out to my dad. He's super hyped on that. I'm giving away some car parts. So if you guys want any mufflers and you're in the area, I'm not shipping these out. So if you guys are in the area, hit me up on Instagram. You can have the mufflers. Um, I'm actually giving away, I'm actually selling my M3 rims, my stock rims for very cheap. So hit me up if you guys want that. Make sure you're local as well. The hood's going for very cheap. The trunk's going for very cheap. So if you guys need any of those parts, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to just put them in the garage. It's going to take up more space. Uh, but yeah, by, by the time you guys see this video, it's already in the garage. So if you guys want it, let me know so I can clean this stuff up. But yeah, finally putting on the plates. Super hyped on that. Now, the last thing I want to do to this car is put on the bottom belly pan. So, I don't know if you guys know, but basically, I took off this belly pan a long time ago when I basically started dis disassembling the whole front end, and I forgot to put it on. So, I was like, I want to put it on to protect the engine, make sure nothing gets in harm's way of the motor. So, uh, yeah, we got that done. All right. Now, your boy wanted to show you guys something. So, recently, you guys were, like, telling me, you know, what's going on, Nor? You're not looking the same. And, uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Nobody said that. But I'm going to be realistic. I haven't been feeling it. Um, ever since I got back from L.A., I don't know. I kind of got depressed a little bit. Um, that is no reason for anything. But basically, got a little bit depressed. My room got to the worst condition it's ever been. Uh, basically, showing you guys a little room tour right now. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a mess. It's a mess. You guys can see everywhere. Things are everywhere. I got Taco Bell everywhere. You know, your boy, he's, he's letting himself go. So I, I didn't want to go through that. So I went down to Ikea that same day. Uh, and decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and make my room more organized. Get everything, get cupboards, get spaces, get, you know, a, a little library thing to where I can organize all my stuff. Um, because I have this little small little Xbox collection and everything, um, going. I don't know if you guys know, but I basically started YouTube through Xbox. So I kind of like have this thing with Xbox where, um, it's a 360. I started trick shotting, all that stuff. That's my story. And uh, I just, I don't know. I kind of have this thing where I want to collect Xboxes, collect the games that, you know, I played to get me to where I am today. Because if it wasn't for Xbox, I wouldn't have started YouTube and I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, if I, if I didn't, you know, do what I did in the game. Anyways, that's a long story short. The room is looking gorgeous. I'm honestly loving everything. And I'm about to make the outro, so I'm not gonna talk over this. All right, so this is your boy, uh, pretty much the day after, doing a little commentary. I'm probably the worst commentator you guys have ever seen. So yeah, that is that. It's been a long journey. The M3 is finally complete. Obviously, it's nowhere damn near to being complete in our books. I have ideas for do either going, doing coilovers, bagging it, you know, supercharger, all this stuff I'm trying to get with sponsors. So I'm trying to just get a hookup on it. Um, you know, your boy's broke as shit. YouTubers don't get paid as much as you guys think. So don't think like, you know, this isn't that. And for those of you guys, Oh, by the way, who's been saying, you know, Nor, you know, uh, you, you're trying to upload these past couple of videos for money. I mean, you guys have to think of it both ways. First of all, if I really cared about the money, the videos would be 10 minutes long. None of those videos that I've been uploading recently have been 10 minutes. So think about that. Second of all, this is my only source of income. So obviously, I, of course, lightweight, partially, I'm doing it for the money as well. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for the content. Of course, I'm doing it for the money. If there was no money in this, I would have to go get another job and uh, things would just be a whole lot rough. It takes a lot of time out of my day just to do YouTube. If I was to get a job, I won't be able to push as much content because especially I won't be able to do anything during the day. I'll be working during the day and then I'll get home. It'll be dark out. It's really hard to bring you guys as much content as I'm bringing you. But anyways, I love y'all so much. I hope you guys enjoyed pretty much my whole day's little thing going. I'm super excited the car is ready to go. I have so much future uh, mods coming up. Omega Tuning is partnering up with so many things, exhaust-wise and all that stuff. So super hyped on that. So you guys will be seeing some exhaust things. But anyways, without further ado, guys, smash that like button. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have words.